Hey babes, going to keep it short and sweet this week. I'm going to cover the palindrome, one word, which are the fan favorites, and then only things I strongly recommend besides that. Starting off with the palindrome, it doesn't have rifle barrel, therefore it's not worth it. Move on. This keystone is fantastic for PvE content. Extended mag, plus third eye, plus the hidden hand, which makes it just convenient to get your aim assist on there. I really like it a lot. Uh, I probably will be picking it myself for PvE scout rifling, though it's really hard to beat the burning eye. This week's Carthian shot is pretty freaking solid for PvE with counterbalance and small bore for sure running those two. Uh, you don't really need the hard, high mag size. You're good. It two bursts, kills three if you miss a couple of shots. Uh, so you don't need 27 mags in the chamber. Then with Outlaw, you can quickly reload even if you are still worried about the magazine or probably run life support so you can have a chance of instantly going like full health after a fight and go straight into the next one. I really like this Warpath for PvE. It doesn't have the cluster bomb, so it doesn't do that crazy amount of damage for bosses like Axis that stay stationary and have very wide mass. However, for most cases in PvE, when you're shooting an object that is moving, especially those Ultras, tracking is going to be very nice for that. Plus, it has the tripod, field scout, ammo boosting. You're in there. I wouldn't recommend this week's one road overall because the Hidden Hand is not a very valuable perk in my opinion. Handler is pretty nice for range boosting, and quick draw slash armor piercing rounds are pretty cool. I probably would go quick draw myself, uh, but honestly, overall, it's not the best role I can get, so I would move over and just wait until the next week. Future Oracle didn't have much for the Hunters this week, so we moved straight over to the Dead Orbit Vendor. Helmets, three off from a perfect roll. I would look into picking this up, maybe if it beats out your other helmets. Shaxx didn't have much to offer, but the Cade 6 Ghost is one off from a perfect roll. You probably will find a Ghost that's perfect roll sooner or later within the next few weeks. So I probably wouldn't like crazy value this, but it's only 75 Legend Marks, one off from perfect roll. If it's better than your current Ghost, pick this one up. The Ghost of New York is also one off from perfect roll, perfect on discipline, or perfect on intellect. Not perfect on discipline, one off. Uh, and the armor for New Marquis is not that amazing for Hunters this week. So close. Four off from perfect roll for a boots, chest, and helmet. Very close. No cigar for any of them. This helmet, though, is only two away from a perfect roll. 65 65 on each would be the best possible. That's definitely looking into if you don't have a better helmet than this for your Warlock. Ikora Race helmet, also two off from perfect roll. And the chest piece, two off from perfect roll. So freaking close. Nothing of interest at Future Oracle for Warlocks this week. Boots for Dead Orbit, four off from Perfect with Shotgun Ammo. So freaking close. So many times for Warlocks, but moving on to Titans. These gauntlets from Dead Orbit make me kind of want to cry because it's one off from Perfect Roll, so freaking close. Good enough for a 12 tier, but Shotgun Reload Speed is completely useless in PvP right now in the current meta and for the remainder meta of Destiny 1. It's, it's nice for PvE. You don't really need grenade throw distance to really worry about those perks of PvE, so whatever. You also don't really need to worry about getting your 12 tier for PvE. So the perk that's only really good for PvE is on gauntlets that are great for PvP otherwise. Yo, Zavala coming in strong with a perfect roll to Titan Mark for you. Intellect Discipline 35-35, the best you can possibly get. Plus, his Ghost Shell is one off from perfect roll Intellect Discipline for you. Ending the video at New Market, it doesn't really offer much for Titan Marks or anything of Titan Armor whatsoever for that matter. Hopefully this video helped you in some way. Thank you so much for being you and thank you as always for watching. Adios.